F my whole day. <sighs> Where do I start? Michael's Bay. Michael's Bay's. Big box office cluster. Shit. So back in the 1999, he wanted to make a horror movie. That was PG-13. The Mummy. That it was directed by Michael Bay. I don't know who was it directed by. But this movie. Oh. Uh, well, first off, it starts off with a some a librarian and a guy that explores. An explorer, or whatever the hell he is. Well. Bad actors. That. To me, this was supposed to be a horror movie that was supposed to be rated R, but Michael Bay wanted to get teenage, and he, want, he wanted to get teenage asses into the seats, so they, so he wanted to get teenage asses into the seats of the movie theater, so yeah, he made it PG-13, genius, it was supposed to be rated R. If you look at it, it's a rated R horror movie, but it's a terrible rated R horror movie. It is a horror movie that... Well, it's not that terrible. There are some cool scenes. There's some cool fight scenes in it. But overall, it's creepy and disturbing as hell. For one part, the mummy just murders this guy and sucks his soul. Another part, the mummy kisses a girl when she's sleeping. Thank goodness the guy came in and stopped that disturbing ass scene. Thank you, guy. Thank you. For all overall, he's, his character is a guy that, I don't know, wants to break the curse and kill the guy before he turns that girl into the bro a bride of, like, a mummy or something. I don't know. At the beginning, you get to hear about the bride... And the backstory, which I, which I thought was kind of interesting, because he wanted to bring his, I think his bride back to life or something, like this magical stuff or something. I really don't know. This is probably just gonna make fun of ancient Egypt history. You, Michael Bay. You. This one, the first one was uh, awful. Well, I'm not going to give it a film crap rating, because it does have some cool fight scenes, but some of the CGI just looked fake. The practical effects were okay. But the makeup for the mummy? They even have to get his tongue. Disgusting as shit. Why the hell did they make this PG-13? It's supposed to be R. Look at the movie. It's a horror movie, but a bad one. I'm not going to give a film crap rating, but just because there are some cool fight scenes I'd like to watch. Like this fight scene with this guy is just like fighting these dead things. And there's like this the girl and this other guy that's like, I don't know, a guy that stayed by as the mummy lord. And one part, the, the mummy lord turns back to human. Wow. They just use some ancient Egypt magic or something? Like, ooh, I'm gonna turn back to humans so I'd be like more attractive for my queen. What the hell? In one part, he kisses the human. She kisses the human lords or something. I don't know, maybe to distract him so they can, like, get to her or something. Well, anyway. I'm not gonna give it a full film crap rating. There is some cool fight scenes, there is a little bit of cheesy lines in it. They're like, oh no, the mummy's rising. And there's also some cheesy lines with like the curse rising up. There are some cool fight scenes in it, so I'm gonna have to give props for that. The CGI sometimes looks like it was a Terminator, a mummy Terminator from the movie Terminator. Sometimes it looked like that. For the CGI, if that actually is CGI, it might be props, I don't know. It was filmed in 1999. It's a horror movie. Only check it out for the acting sequences. Skip if you have no DVD and skip through it. Watch some of the acting sequences. 
it's gonna be only watch the acting sequences that I think that's the coolest part of the movie for overall that is zero character de development the dialogue I don't know some kind of di an ancient lack of ancient Egypt lore and lots of stuff else cause the mummies don't look like that we used to know the mummies as some paper towel guys I'm not going to give it a film crap rating just because of the cool action sequences. But I'm going to have to give it a really cheesy thing. Really cheesy rating. Because it is really cheesy. It is really mummy. Lee. Yep, it's Halloween rating time. But here's the thing. Only just watch for the action sequences. It's still a horror movie. Because of the mummies and stuff. Yeah, it might not be a horror movie but just because it has like that cre the creatures that are like monsters or something. But anyway, it's still a horror movie. A PG-13 horror movie. Just like Isaac's Chapter 2, but not like that. No, Isaac's Chapter 2 must be way better. Well, anyway, I'll be reviewing the second one and the third one in the next review. So, bye. See you later, Fulmer.